Hello, it's uh, Harry here. So in this video, I want to show how to use the ODS listing to create tables uh, for clinical studies. So the data set we're going to use is the uh, class data set from Sets Help. So let's take a look at the data set first. So you can see it's a very small data set, 19 records and uh, 5 variables. Uh, I'm going to make a change on the data set by adding a new variable called a region. Okay, to avoid the truncation, we need to add a length statement uh, here. Okay, so let's run the program. Okay, so you can see a new variable region has been added to the data set. Okay, now we're going to use proc report to display this data set. So let's do proc report. We will use the uh, headline and uh, head skip option. Okay, we're going to have the columns uh, statement. Okay, and then we're going to have the define statement. Okay, uh, so let's add the ODS listing here. I'm going to send the output to this uh, directory. Okay, then we need uh, uh, ODS listing close. Okay, um, so uh, one important thing to note is that um, when we use ODS listing to create tables, we must specify the uh, page size and the line size. So let's do that here. Let's do line size 132 and page size 52. Okay, so let's... Uh, save the program and let's do a batch run okay so let's take a look at the output okay so you can see uh, we have the data here uh, so uh, we still need to do some change on the program so we don't want to have this uh, title here we don't want the the date and the page number because uh, we are going to do that uh, um, in our program so we're going to get rid of those things uh, also we want to add some titles okay so let's do that so I'm going to close this uh, listing okay then we go back to the program okay to get rid of all the titles we can do title and to get rid of the date and page number we can do no date, no number. Okay, and to add our own titles, we can do it here. Okay, so let's add our own uh, titles and footnotes. So let's do title one, um, table fourteen point one, uh, demographics, and the baseline. Uh, let's do title 2 uh, let's say safety population okay 
Okay, now we can do the footnote. Uh, let's see, um, we want to do footnote one. Okay, so in clinical uh, study tables, uh, the first footnote is usually a horizontal line. So we have to create that line. So let's uh, let's do it here. Okay, so let's do data now. Okay, uh, we're gonna use the repeat function. So it's line equal to repeat. 132, so that's the line size. And we use a call simple function. Okay, so here we have created a, a macro variable called a line, and we're going to use that in the footnote. So let's do it here. Okay. And foot, uh, footnote 2. I'm going to copy the footnote 2 from uh, another program. OK, so here is uh, footnote 2. OK, so in this footnote, we are, we are specifying the set program name. And we are using some system macro variables here. We have sys date, sys time, sys version, and also the sys platform. Okay, so let's run the program. Okay, so let's take a look at the output. Okay, now we have the title here. And uh, we have the footnote here. So something is not right with the footnote. So when we generate a footnote for a clinical table, we want a footnote to be adjusted to the left. We don't want the footnote to be center, to be in the center. So we have to specify a no center option in the program. And also we need a horizontal line uh, right after the title. So let's do that. So first we add a uh, uh, sorry, let me close this. Okay, so first we add uh, a no center option. And then we add another title. Okay, so let's run the program. Okay, so now you can see uh, this uh, table. Um, there are sev several things that need to be fixed. One thing is, uh, is about the title. We want to have the titles uh, displayed in the center position. So we have to do something about the, the title. Uh, another thing is that for these columns, we need to specify the width of these columns uh, so that we can use all the space uh, in the page. So right now, uh, these uh, six columns are using uh, only part of the space in the table. So let's, uh, uh, let's fix that. OK, now we need to add the column width uh, to the frog report. So let's use the spacing option here. So spacing equals 1 means that we want to use uh, uh, spacing equals 1 to separate these columns. But in the first col uh, column region, we should specify spacing equals 0, because we don't want to have any uh, space in front of the first column. So that means that we're going to need a total width of uh, 5 for the spacing. So Let's calculate the width for each column. OK, so let's define a macro variable called uh, numCall. So this is the number of uh, columns in the proc report. OK, and then let's uh, calculate the variable called uh, callW. OK, uh, so this is going to be one, uh, 132 
uh, minus the spacing. The spacing is um, uh, num call minus one. Okay, and we want to divide this number by the number of columns. So divided by uh, num call. Okay, so in order to do this calculation on the macro variables, we have to use the percent sys eval f function. So let's use that function here. Okay, so this number may not be an integer, so we would like to have the integer part of this uh, macro variable. We can use uh, the floor function, so let's define another variable. Uh, let's use percent sysfunc. Okay, so this uh, micro variable width is going to be the width for each column. So let's uh, specify that in the proc report. Okay, so let's do width equals width. Okay, so we can just copy this to every defined statement. Okay, let's save this. Okay, another thing we want to fix is about the titles. So right now the titles are not displayed in the center position. So how can we display the titles in the center uh, position? The idea is to add some white space in front of the titles. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, we're going to do that with a uh, data now step. So I'm going to copy some code here. Okay, so here I have two variables, x and y, so they are for the titles. I'm going to add some space in front of them. So to calculate the number of space, uh, we need to do uh, this. So let me copy this code here. Okay, so space x is the number of space to add in front of x. Space y is the number of space to add in front of y. So what we are doing here is we take the line size, which, which is 132. We minus the length of x, uh, divide the result by 2, and then we use the floor function. Uh, we do the same thing for the, for the y variable. Okay, now all we need to do is to add the space in front. Okay, so let me copy some more code here. Okay, so I'm calling the new variable x new and y new. And so I have the space here, I have the x here, I have the space here, I have the y here. Okay, uh, the next step is to define some macro variables. We're going to use the call same put. So I'm going to copy these two lines here. So here we define two new macro variables, x new and y new. They will be the new titles. So let's do a run here. Okay, so now let's update the title statement. So this is going to be x new. And this is going to be the y new. Okay, so let's save the program and let's run the program. Okay, let's take a look at the output. Okay, so you can see it uh, looks pretty good. We have the title in the center, we have all these columns displayed properly. Um, one thing I want to mention is that uh, um, in the clinical studies, uh, usually we need a title on top. And in that title, we need to display the company name and the page number. So let's uh, 
let's add that okay I'm gonna close this and let's go back to the program and we need to add a new title okay let's see uh, we're gonna define the company name here okay so I copy some code here okay so C is the company name W is the page number here I'm using the word page uh, followed by the pound sign as a placeholder later on I'm going to call some macro to display the page number properly in the clinical study tables usually we want to show page X of Y um, okay so let's uh, Let's see. So in order to display this Y on the left, uh, I'm sorry, in order to display this Z on the left and the W on the right, we need to add some white space in between the Z and the W. So let's do that. Uh, first, we need to calculate the space Z. So let's, let me copy some code. Okay, so I, I calculate the space and then I'm gonna add this, this space, uh, this number of space in between Z and the W. Okay, so I'm gonna call the new variable um, Z new. Okay, then I will use the cost input statement to define a macro variable. Okay. So this Z new is going to be the uh, the title one. So let's add it here. Okay. So this is going to be the title two, title three, title four. Okay. Save. So let's run the program. Okay, let's take a look at the output. Okay, so the table uh, looks fine. So we have the title displayed here. Uh, we're gonna take care of this page pound sign later. Uh, so now I wanna uh, do something about the region column. Suppose I don't wanna display all these values here. Uh, I only wanna display the each value once. Uh, we can use a group option in prop report. So let's uh, see how we do that. We can add a, a group option here. Okay, and then let's save the program, and then we do a, a batch one. Let's take a look at the output. Okay, so it uh, it looks good. So each value of the region is displayed only once. Now, suppose I only want to show the the five columns from name onwards I don't want to show this column uh, region uh, I will display the value of this region in front of each block we can use the computer statement in proc report to do that so let's see how we can do that okay I'm gonna copy some code here okay here's a computer block so we have compute before region with and then we display the value of region and we use compute after region to display a blank line and we have to change this define statement for region so we're gonna delete this and we use a group no print and we, we move the spacing equal to zero here because this is gonna be the first column of the of the table um, some other things uh, we have to change is the uh, total number of columns so now we only want to display five columns right so let's change num call, num call to five okay so let's save the program and let's do a batch run and let's take a look at the output okay so we have the region here we have the name um, so 
This doesn't look very nice because there's no indentation in front of the name. So we have to add an indentation. So to add an indentation uh, in a listing file, or we just need to add some space in, in front of the name. So let's do that. Okay, so we go, let's go here. Uh, data class, set class, and we do name equal to name. Okay, so this is going to work. So to to do indentation in listing file is much easier than uh, doing the indentation in RTF files. Okay, so let's run this uh, program. And let's take a look at the output. Okay, so we got the indentation. Uh, another thing I want to show is uh, how to do the, the header over multiple columns. Um, suppose I want to add a header over sex and age, and uh, I want to add another header over height and weight. So this is a, a contrived example, but it, it's enough to show uh, how to add headers. So let's do that. Okay, so to add the headers over multiple columns, we just need to change the columns statement. So let's do it here. Then we'll add a header here. Okay, so let's save the program and let's do a batch run. Okay, now let's look at the output. Okay, so you can see now we have the header over uh, multiple columns. Okay, so we're almost done, um, but uh, we need to fix this uh, page number. So we want to show the page number in the format page x of y. So we're going to call a macro. So the idea is that, um, uh, oh, let's go back to the output. The idea is that uh, this, uh, this, this macro will count the occurrences of this page followed by the pound sign. And by counting that, the macro will find out the total number of pages in this table. And then the macro will replace each occurrence of this page followed by the pound sign um, by the appropriate uh, page number. OK, so let's do that. I'm going to copy the macro here. So here's a macro. It's called uh, m page num two. Uh, we need an input file. Uh, we have the um, this uh, mls. This is uh, a macro variable for the line size. Uh, we're we're using the one thirty two for line size. Okay. Then we have this pointer. This pointer is a page followed by the pound sign. Okay. And then we just call the macro. Okay. So let's run this uh, uh, program. take a look at the output. Okay, so you can see uh, the page numbers ha have been uh, properly displayed. Alright, I think that's all I want to talk about in this uh, video. I'm going to upload the uh, materials related to this video to my GitHub account and I will leave a link in the description of this video. If you think this is helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you.